sleep in. But if I turn over, then church will begin. And I don't want to be late. Cause I can miss something great. Is memorized. My dad helps me learn these at home. He makes up songs for each one of them. Wow, that's cool. What's the song for this one? I'm not going to sing it in front of you. Whatever. Hey, look, Britt, there's your dad. Hi, honey. Ready to go home? Daddy! Look, I memorized all my Bible verses and I'm almost ready to get my certificate. Well, good job, honey. I guess it was a good idea you got it for Sunday school this morning, huh? Listen, after lunch, I'll take you over to Colby's Clubhouse while your mom and I go shopping. That is, unless you want to come with us. No, that's okay. We've got some fun stuff planned at Colby's Clubhouse today. See you later, Casey. Bye, Brittany. Lemonade. Get your ice cold lemonade. Only 25 cents a glass. Hey, Brandon. Hi, Casey. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'll buy one. Sure. Let's see. There you go. Oh, you looks go. awful good. Mm-hmm. Mm, perfect. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Brittany. We'll see you in an hour. Bye, Daddy. Bye. 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 No matter what, people will always remember how it happened. The end. Wow, that was great, Danielle. How did you ever think of a story like that? Yeah. I don't know, it just sort of comes to me, and then I work out the details in my head before I sit down and write. <laughs> wow, I know I could never do something like that. Me too. What was that? I didn't hear anything. It's coming from over here. Be careful, Brittany, you don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah Brittany. 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 Hello. Brittany. 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 Oh, oh, it's just a baby. Oh, He's oh, so cute. Oh. Thank you. 
Mother. Oh, maybe it's lost. I don't know. It's really skinny. It looks like it's been abandoned. Oh, the poor baby. I wish I had something for him to drink. He looks thirsty. I'll get him a bowl of water. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to keep him. Don't you think we should find out if it belongs to somebody else? Well, mm. if he isn't abandoned, then his owner isn't taking real good care of him. I would take much better care of you. Well, I know I can't keep him. He'd just get bigger and eat my bird for dinner one day. <laughs> my dog would eat him for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and I'm allergic to dogs. <laughs> well, then I'll just have to keep him. <laughs> but, Brittany, I thought your mom was allergic to dogs, too. Yeah, she is. I'll just keep him in my bedroom. He I doubt do if your parents would let you do that. Mm -mm. Mm, I'll hide him in my closet when my mom and dad come in. Brittany. That's not going to work, Britt. Okay, everybody, I've got the bat. Who's got a ball? I do. Great. Oh, my. What a cute puppy. When did you get him, Brittany? It doesn't belong to Brittany Colby. It does now. Well, did someone give him to you? No. I found him, Colby. How do you know he doesn't belong to someone else? Well, look how skinny he is. Hmm. Well... I suggest that you put up some signs around the neighborhood to see if someone claims him. That's a good idea, Colby. I'm going to make some signs. Well, what will we do with the puppy in the meantime, Colby? He'll stay in my room. Well, as long as you have permission from your parents, Brittany. Her mom's allergic to dogs, Colby. Brittany wants to hide the puppy from her parents. Oh, dear. That's not being very truthful, Brittany. I just don't want anything to happen to him. That's all. Well, if God brought this puppy into your life, then he has a plan, Brittany. Don't you think it's important to find out what God's plan is first? I guess. The puppy can stay here in my clubhouse for now, Brittany. I am most certainly not allergic to him, and it will give everyone a chance to see what God has in mind. Is that all right with you, Britt? I guess. I just don't want anything to happen to you, puppy. Lord, please help me to put my cares into your hands.
I just wanted to know how the puppy was. Oh, really? How come he hasn't been eating? Well, I know you've never taken care of a puppy before. I could take care of him if he stayed here. Well, I don't really have to ask my dad. See you this afternoon, Colby. Bye. Who was that, honey? Oh, I was just talking to Colby. Is there something you need to ask me, Brittany? Uh, not really. Well, if you need to talk to me, I'm here, okay? Thanks, Daddy. Bye, Daddy! Brittany, the puppy's sick. Oh no, what's wrong with him? He won't eat, drink, and he won't even play. I tried to take good care of him, Brittany. I do hope I have not done anything wrong. I'm sure you did your best, Colby. Well, I have never taken care of a puppy before. I researched what to do, but the puppy would not eat or drink anything. That's because it's sick, Colby. He needs to go to the vet. The vet? Veterinarian, the animal doctor. But won't that cost a lot of money? Yeah. You're gonna have to tell your dad, Brittany. We need a parent's help on this one. Oh, but if I tell my dad, they won't let me keep her. And I love you, puppy. Do you want to do what's best for the puppy, Brittany? Brittany, keeping things from your parents is the same thing as not telling the truth. I know. Oh, Brittany, you left your backpack in the car and I... Oh, where did you get the puppy? I found him, Daddy. He was lost and really skinny. I don't think he has a home. What if he belongs to somebody? Well, we made signs and put them all over the neighborhood. I see. Daddy, I'm sorry I tried to keep this from you. I guess I wasn't being truthful. Daddy, he's really sick. He won't eat or drink and he stopped playing with me. Daddy, I really need your help. Yes, you do, Brittany. That's why God gave kids parents. But when kids try to keep things from their parents, they can't always get the help they need. I'm sorry, Daddy. Well, Brittany, we all make mistakes. It's what we learn from those mistakes that's important. You see, not telling the truth always gets people into trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, for starters, I think we need to get this puppy to a vet. Mm -hmm. You know, I have time to do this right now, but uh, I'll need you to hold him in the car while I drive, okay, Brittany? Oh, thank you, Daddy. You're the okay. best. All right. Grab your backpack. I'm really glad the puppy's going to the vet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I am glad that Brittany is not trying to hide things from her father anymore. Me too. You know, telling the truth is like walking where it's light instead of in the darkness. It makes a lot more sense to see where you're going and not hide along the way. In fact, there's a scripture about that. In 1 John 1, 7, it says, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we'll have fellowship with each other. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from every sin. Come on in. Hi, Colby. Hi, you guys. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Did you guys make this sign? Uh -huh. I lost my puppy a few days ago, and I thought maybe you guys found her. Well, what does your puppy look like? She's about 10 weeks old and is brown and white. Uh, sounds like the puppy Brittany found. Yeah. 
Well, but this puppy's sick. Yeah. I know. So is mine. We just got her a few days ago, and when we took her to the vet, he gave her some medicine. Missy, that's her name, really was getting better until she got out and ran off. She doesn't know where her house is yet. That's why she seemed fine in the beginning and then got sicker. Yeah. Missy really needs her medicine, so where is she? Guess what? The puppy's going to be okay. He just needs his medicine. Well, I'm very glad the puppy is going to be fine. Um, is this your puppy, Mel? Yeah, this is Missy. Missy, that's not her name. Brittany, remember the signs we made? The puppy belongs to Melanie. What? We just got her a few days ago, Brittany. And when we took her to the vet, she got that same medicine. And how did she get all the way down to our clubhouse? My brother opened the front door and Missy escaped. We've been looking for her for three days. I'm really glad you guys made this sign. Well, she just needs this medicine four times a day, Melanie. And please take good care of her. I will. Thanks for taking care of her for me, Brittany. Can I come over and see her sometimes? Sure. But I really got to take her home and make sure she eats and drinks now. Okay. See you guys later. Bye, Mel. Bye. 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 Brittany, are you sad about not being able to keep Missy? Well, I'm actually glad she belonged to Melanie, because now I can go over and see her sometimes. Mm -hmm. And my mom's allergic to dogs anyway. Isn't it amazing how God works things out when we don't try to hide things? It sure is, Colby. God always knows what's best.
all that he is, all that he, is. he showed to us when he gave us his unending Yeah.